Hey everybody, who remembers Orange Julius? Anybody? Um, that sweet kind of frothy orange drink that you really hoped your mom would get for you after school? Or was that just me? Um, yeah, drop a one if you remember and love Orange Julius drinks. They look a little bit like like this. Um, anybody? So, um, they may still be around, I don't know. Um, but don't you just wish that you had the natural alternative for things that can not only be healthy for you, but they also taste like the real deal, right? Me too. This is my lovely assistant today. Can you say hello? So hi, I'm Amy Miller, and I'm here live with you today on our 3 Life Essentials brand page. I'm a crunchy mom, I'm a researcher of all things natural for a little over 10 years, and together with my husband, we are the founders of 3 Life Essentials. Um, in fact, we advocate wellness in all areas of our life, in our spiritual life, in our healthcare, in our lifestyle, and this is our free Friday. It's a weekly series we do on Fridays where we're learning together to gain some freedom. Um, freedom to live life fully and abundantly and bonus if we can do it naturally. Right, Micah? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so kudos to those of you who joined on live. Hi, Bethany. Oh, she says your little helper, helper is adorable. So, kudos to those of you, Bethany, who joined in live with me because I've got a little secret sauce for you again today. It's called Vital Proteins Collagen. And I've got the hookup for you to be able to get this special ingredient for your Orange Julius. And it's going to kick up the healthy factor a notch without even making it change in any way. It's still going to be the same yumminess. So, um, and we bought this one uh, from Whole Foods. Actually, this one we did not get from Whole Foods, and I'm going to tell them how they can get one at a cheaper price than the Whole Foods at a discount, a super secret discount. So, um... But the other one we got from Whole Foods, right? Yeah, yes, yes. So, in fact, you can add this to your coffee, to your tea, to your smoothies, um, and more, and... Even yogurt. Even yogurt. It does not change the flavor. It does not change um, the texture or anything at all. Um, in fact, you'll see here it's just a little powdery substance here. Just white. Um, you can see we've used quite a bit of it. But it is vital for helping you have healthy skin, hair, nails, bones, joints. Excellent. Okay. So, um, oh, and before I forget. I love supporting fellow like-minded moms, and Ruth Polly has these, and she's offering an ex exclusively to our 3 Life Essentials community these at a discount. So you can connect with her on Facebook at Ruth Polly Living, uh, sorry, Ruth Healthy Living on Facebook, and just let her know that we sent you at 3 Life Essentials, and she will hook you up with that discount. Okay. So, life's too short to live by somebody else's rules. And so, this is where we're learning together to be free and unconstrained, free from junk, free from stank, free from dyes, free from complaints. And today, we're living dye-free, refined sugar-free, you guys. Um, you know, I've seen firsthand the effects that fake food has been on my son. And I've heard other parents experience the same thing. So, um, and then I've also seen on the flip side, the bonus, um, the positive benefits of consuming foods that actually nourish our bodies. So, and that tastes good and you feel good at about eating it. So, if you want to receive notifications for when we go live each week, um, just click that button at the top right and you'll be notified each time we go live and you can join in on the fun. If you know another mom or another person that you connected with that would, can benefit from the fun of this drink, click the share button and let them know that you're thinking about them. Um, okay, so today we're going to talk about why would we even do this DIY, how to make this Orange Julius, and um, 
unfortunately, you're gonna have to watch us enjoy it um, until you can make your own. And then, um, why the secret ingredient? I think I let shared a little bit with you already about that. So, why would you make your own orange Julius when I think if they're still around, you could go get your own? Okay, number one, um, I want to. I wouldn't want to hear from you guys. Comment below, even if you're watching us on the replay. Comment below. Um, with why you would want to make something homemade versus store bought. I'd love to hear from you why why that. While well, I'm gonna sip on my water because I'm really dry. Sippy. <clears throat> the number one reason we make stuff homemade instead of purchasing it is because number one, we know what's in it, right, Micah? We know what's in this, right? And do we usually check stuff to find out what's in stuff? Uh, yes. Yeah, we do. Um, and so, and then the second reason we do it is because it's fun. It's fun, right? It's fun to make stuff together. So, even if you're watching this on the replay, comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts um, and your questions, and I'll be going back through them. Um, and I'd love to hear... Drop a two if you wish you had healthier skin, hair, and nails. Bethany, you say it's be easier than driving to get something in when it's cheaper. You know what? Many times it is cheaper. In fact, sometimes the first time you make something homemade, it might be a little bit more expensive, especially if you have to buy a container for it to go in, if it's something you're storing or something like that. Um, but then the benefits long run are, yes, like you said, much less expensive and um, and many times it's much less expensive. So here's what your ingredients that you're going to use. You're going to use, um, well, in our family we double everything. So I'm going to give you the recipe, but you'll see as I'm making this that I'm adding much more than I'm telling you, okay? Because I'm doubling everything. Um, so um, it calls for a three-fourths cup of almond milk. You can also use coconut milk. Hey, Micah, could you go grab the little um, thing that takes this off for me? Mm -hmm. um, we're like, we like to use Califia Farms almond milk, um, unsweetened, because we don't want to add any sugar to this. This is in the good, better, best category. This is the better choice. The best choice would actually be to um, strain my own nuts and make my own nut milk. And which um, I have not done that, but and it actually isn't that much di more difficult. But um, it's just one extra step that I'm I'm not doing right now. So sometimes you make choices where you just say, okay, so this I'm gonna have a better choice instead of the best choice. Okay, so you're gonna do three fourths cup of that, and Micah's gonna help me get level with the liquid so he can tell me when to stop. Can you show me when we get to right there? Okay. You're there. Okay, and then I'm going to go to half. Stop. Okay. So you're going to put in three-fourths cup of your coconut milk or or like your almond milk. Uh -huh. um, you can even do some coconut cream here. Um, the organic coconut cream. I like to use the native forest because they are BPA-free linings. Um, but if you want to make it even more um, thick and creamy, you can do something like the coconut cream that you want to add into yeah. it. You can have a sip of that, yes. Okay, so then um, typically I add in fresh oranges. I actually use some fresh oranges to make my, those of you guys who remember our gummy gum bears. <laughs> yes, that we love. And so I'm out of fresh oranges. Um, so we're gonna enjoy our fresh oranges here. Those of you guys who wanna know how to make these amazing, fun, homemade gummy bears, you guys can go over to our YouTube channel at 3 Life Essentials and you can enjoy those here. And we've actually switched up our recipe a little bit, so now we no longer add honey to it and we just add stevia. Um, okay, so, mom enjoying a gummy bear. So what am I doing? I'm doing, again, instead of a best choice, I'm making a better choice today. So today I'm using um, canned organic mandarin oranges. Again, native forest brand because they have the BPA-free linings. And so I'm not, I'm not exposing my family to even more harmful chemicals. So you're gonna add in either a can of the mandarin oranges or you're gonna add in um, 
four clementines, four, four of your small oranges, whatever floats your boat with that. The clementines have a tendency to be a little sweeter. And you're putting this all in your handy dandy blender, which um, I now have, just a minute, I now have a, yes, those gummies were for you. Um, I have a blend tech here, which is something that was on my vision board for about two years. Um, if you don't have a vision board, you should look into, into making one. It's something really good to help you set goals in your life and, and work towards attaining them and to have like a vision, a, a picture in front of you to see what you're working towards. Um, so this was on my vision board and now I actually have it. So, okay, so you're adding in your milk and then your oranges and then you're going to add in, Micah has already pitted two dates for me, except for we're going to add in double. Um, so Micah, you're going to add in... The dates for me. Can you count in four? One, two, three. He's a good counter. Four. Very nice. And then you're going to want your dates to be um, um, softened. So if you're storing them in the refrigerator, um, you want them to be softened so they're a little bit easier to pit. But these are amazing, aren't they? To eat your other one that you have. It pays to be the sous chef, which is, he's my assistant and sous chef today because um, you get to sample sweetness. Okay, so you're going to put in your dates, two dates, and then this is another part of a secret ingredient. Okay, so I'm going to add in my collagen. One scoop also gives you about nine grams of protein, if I remember correctly. So it's also an excellent source of protein for you that doesn't include whey protein. Um, this is straight grass-fed, pasture-raised collagen. So I'm adding in a scoop of the collagen. Again, it doesn't affect the flavor or, um, or the texture or anything. And if you're just joining us live, make sure you go back to the beginning um, where I share with you how to get a discount on the collagen. Okay. So, if you want to get really fancy with this and add in and sneak in a lot of more healthy ingredients, you can add in your Terra Greens, which I love to add in some fruits and vegetables. That doesn't really tweak the flavor a whole lot, but it will tweak it a little bit. So, today we're not going to do that. We're just going to do straight Orange Julius, but this is another secret mom ingredient that I like to add. Okay, so what is going to make this frothy, like those amazing Orange Julius drinks that I gr drank growing up? that probably did not have all these clean whole food ingredients in them. Avocado. Yay, avocado. Okay, so you're gonna put in a fourth of an avocado pitted, okay? So I'm just gonna scoop that out in here. And then Micah, my sous chef, is going to give me um, a couple of handfuls of ice cubes to put in our blender while well, I have another. Aren't they so, oh my goodness, they're just so stinking cute, aren't so they? So frothy, too. <laughs> okay, let's put in our, our ice. Now we're putting in a little bit more because again, we're doubling it. Okay, and then the last ingredient you're gonna put in is some vanilla extract. Again, mine's, a, mine's homemade, which sounds really fancy, you guys, but it is so easy to make your own vanilla extract. Um, you can see in here, I've got my own vanilla beans in here. Vanilla beans and, and a non-GMO um, vodka. Beans. And you're good to go with an amazing, amazing tasting vanilla extract. Okay. So you're going to put in one-fourth teaspoon of, of vanilla extract, or pure vanilla. I don't 
I'm just focused Mommy, everywhere. Mommy, you accidentally got an, an orange in this. Actually got one. Oops. It's okay. I'll eat it out. <laughs> You'll eat it out. Okay. Um, Bethany, you say you love your gummy bears, but I need more molds. I know. I'm about to get some robot <clears throat> molds and some Lego-looking block molds that are actually, you're actually able to stack them. So, but I haven't gotten them yet. Um, so, okay, now this is going to be a little loud here, but I'm going to do turn on my blend tech here, and I'm going to do it on the um, the smoothie feature. Feature. Smoothie feature, is that right? And I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see, you guys can see it, but it will be a little loud. <laughs> Normally, I would run this um, one more time to make it just even extra smooth and creamy. Um, you guys, look at that. Now, I might have put in, let me see, I'm not sure if I put in a little bit too much ice this time. I might have put in a little hair too much ice because it is very slow coming out. Who wants Orange Julius? Whoops. As I pour it all over my hand. Okay, Micah, you want to taste? Uh-oh. It's dripping out down the side. <laughs> All right, tell them what you think. Taste. Uh, yummy. What does that mean? Yummy. Yummy? Oh, my goodness. Sweet orange Julius. If you like it a little sweeter, you can always add a few extra dates. Um, if you like it a little less sweet, you can let less dates, but it's amazing. So, now I'm about to sign off here. Whoops. Sorry, I'm shaking this everywhere. Um, but don't forget to just go back to the beginning to see, um, how to get the collagen that you can add in at a discount. I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it valuable. Don't forget to share this with your friends. If you're new to our Facebook page, or even if you're not new, you can click the subscribe button at the top and, and you'll get notified whenever we go live. Um, if you want to review any of our free Friday segments, you can check out and subscribe to our YouTube channel at 3 Life Essentials, right? So far we've covered how to make homemade healthy gummy bears um, for your kids or the kid inside you, right Bethany? Um, Easy peasy oil pulling chews, um, factors to think about if you're homeschooling, using your instant pot, and a little bit about some toxic laundry, and so much more. So join us over there, and we'll see you guys next Friday. Bye-bye.